well, welcome back to Crowley House Flower Farm. Today we have an absolutely gorgeous day. And so what I was inspired to do, I'm having some friends over. Woo, it's super bright. I'm having some friends over and I'm making dinner for them. So I'm hosting. I love hosting. So I thought I would take you along as we set a tablescape. Uh, Riley's going to help me. Jason's doing the food. And I think we have about 10 people coming. 10 ladies, my friends. Uh, so what we're doing is kind of making a spring garden on the table. I'm also making a spring wreath that is gonna go on the front door. I think that's it, that's all I'm doing. So I thought it'd be fun to take you along. No, I'm helping mom make the tablescape. Well, I don't know what she actually wants, so. I'm here to learn, I'm here to listen. What I thought to do <laughs> is go ahead and take your vintage vases, the really cool ones. Okay. And I thought to just pop them up with all those pansies that we had left over from the Oregon State kind of table. Okay. Right? Okay. And put moss in it and kind of create something like that. Okay. And then I thought, because we have all these beautiful flowers, I don't know if we should make some little posies and put them together, wrap them up cute, mm -hmm. and that's their going away gift. I think we can get 10 of those done. We can do that. But you want to see something super sad but kind of cool at the same time? Sure. Okay, I found it when I was cleaning. <laughs> I don't know if you saw it, <laughs> but there's a dead hummingbird. I, well, this was on the window. Um, sorry if this offends anybody, but this was dead in the window Aww. and it kind of like mummified. So Aww. I just put it in the nest. I didn't want to throw it away. I felt too bad that he got stuck in here. So really, you are a true lover of birds though. He's sleeping, sleeping away. In the home. He could go on the table. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think people would like that. You know, on a little hummingbird? His no, name is, I feel like he's a Frank, a Frederick. What about putting Frederick in the wreath that we're going to make for the front door? Because, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know, he's like lovely preserved. I don't know. So he was really sad. He was like just sitting perched on like the window when I was cleaning. Anyway, so he's, he's, has a little forever home. <laughs> anyway. Until the packets come. is this, Riley, is I have this checked tablecloth that's I'm gonna iron. And then I thought we've got bread bowls, so we would probably use those for the bread bowls. And I've got these cute little napkins down here, left over. Uh, so what do you think of that? Yeah. And just with your little flowers on there? Mm -hmm. Stay hydrated, kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a great idea. <laughs> okay, so let's go put it together. The other thing we need to do is this. Uh, outside, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, right here, Riley, move yeah. the PVC pipe, <laughs> what? and we will have just a beautiful wreath right there, a grapevine wreath, okay. with some of the live plants, Okay. and maybe your hummingbird. As lovely as a burial that would be, like putting him outside to the elements. <gasps> Do you see the bird? So what I have is just a grapevine that we made this winter. I'm kind of liking this one because it has kind of this long, I don't know if that's going to show, but kind of jets off here. And then I have a couple pansies left over. I don't know if you remember that project, but we did it for the Oregon State or the PNW Small Farms Conference. That's for the tables. So I was going to pop these up in the greenhouse um, to use as a cut floral. But for now, I'm going to add them to this wreath with a little bit of moss and Riley's out in the greenhouse right now potting up the little table. We're doing like a live garden for the table. So for my sister um, Amber's daughter Rosie, the wedding, so the video right before this one, that wedding, we did some of these live gardens and they're just basically kind of, they're in pots and they just look like they're growing from the ground. And so I kind of wanted that appeal for this dinner. I'm just gonna pop some candles through and I think it's gonna look really, really nice. Just really simple, but yet elegant. And then I can take those pansies and plant them out in the garden, in my pots or 
in um, where we can use them as a cut floral. So we'll just pop, pop them into like crates and then we have more flowers and it just is, it's kind of fun to do this. So. So in order to put this together, I needed some fishing line. So I just grabbed that out. We always keep this in our, you know, tackle box, you know, for all of our things, but fishing line is amazing. So it should definitely be in anybody's toolkit or uh, tackle box. So I'm gonna use this to kind of wrap it around the moss uh, to anchor everything in so that the moss is gonna act almost like a little blanket to hold the soil and the, and the plant in there. And then we're gonna take this wire, this uh, fishing line and kind of hide it in there so it stays. We'll see how it goes. So the first one we're gonna use is this Frizzle Sizzle Mini Mix. I love this one. It looks kind of antique -y. Isn't that beautiful, you guys? Uh, that one is stunning, and we do like to use this one in mixed bouquets, not mixed bouquets, but like little arrangements kind of hanging on the side of the vase during spring. Really fun. And then the other one I'm going to be using, Sherbert XP Morpho. Not sure about that name. That's kind of fun, but they're both violas. Uh, both uh, sun to part shade does really, really well, but that one's um, kind of a fun one as well. I just wanted a, a little hint of blue to the um, door. I think it's so bright and cheery. So I'm gonna do this one as well. Can't decide if I'm gonna use the container. I a lot of times take it out of the container. It's funny, one of our brides, who's like a friend of ours, for her wedding, we put like moss down her aisle way. And at the time, she like did not like flowers. And then she came up to me the other day, she's like, I wish I could redo my wedding. What was I thinking? I love flowers. <laughs> but it's still really pretty. That just makes me laugh. So every time you see moss, that makes you think of her. Yeah, also I feel like everybody's gonna wanna redo their wedding someday. That's why we have, what are they called? Vows. Renew vows. And then you can just have like a mini second wedding. You can do whatever you want. And a lot of times you have a lot more money done too. Yeah. And nobody telling you what to do. And you don't them. care what people think anymore. Yeah, totally. Just let us know if you ever want to redo your wedding. We'll come. Invite us. We'll be there. See if there's anything cool. Just, have you seen people like make the terrariums where they just go and like get random things from the woods and then... There's like animals living in it. Like yeah. you can have snails and stuff. Fascinating. So these are going on the table. So I'm working on this wreath that's coming together fairly well. I'm now just securing it and I think I'm gonna keep it really simple. Riley, what do you think about putting like a little bow or something on it? Uh-huh. A little like woodland mm. ribbon, more natural. Yeah. Maybe just like a tie, not a bow, you know? But like more cottony, cottage corgi. Yeah, but like, yeah, you can do that. It would be cool someday is to do this with bulbs. 
I wonder if a tulip bulb would grow in it. It would actually, I think, um, some hyacinth or like... Hyacinth. Um, grape hyacinth. Grape hyacinth or um, what is it called? The little bell flowers you like so well. That's grape so, hyacinth. Okay. The little ones? I, I was right. Yeah. But, I mean, don't you think we could do like, like come Easter? It's not quite Easter time. It's still... Nice. Like, it's some, it's Celtic season right now. I think Emma's gonna be impressed with us when she comes for dinner. Of course tonight. she will. She's always. She'll be like, "Oh, I noticed Emma's all the like the most all easy the bits to of impress. Fern. Let's all be honest. <laughs> She's like, "Wow, you, you made that? me food. I feel so I loved. I okay. accept. I accept." Okay, I think right, I'm going to, yeah, because we're going to have guests. Step away. Step, Step away. away. Okay. Everybody leave. Leave okay. it alone. So this is <laughs> okay. Tom. Tom. No, that, what was the name of your, your little My bird? My bird is Franklin. Franklin. We didn't, naming. we didn't add Franklin to the beautiful wreath, but. Because I think like it's disrespectful. Yes. So we're respect. <gasps> Riley, focus. Come here. You want to get in the shot? Oh my God. Guys, okay. moment of appreciation for Shyla's <laughs> bath. She's yeah, so she cute. she totally makes an appearance in our book, you guys. Mm -hmm. She's got like a full on photo in the book. So if you want to meet Shyla, yeah, there she is. Hello. Say hello. <laughs> so I'm gonna run in and iron the table okay. cloth. You bring in the little beauties. Okay. And we'll get get the table all gushed up for dinner tonight. We're gonna get it gushed. Gushed. What is it? B Beth bougie. Always D this is this is the year bougied. of the bougie. Booty up. No bougie. <laughs> bougie. We have bougie baskets and we have bougie tables. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. I'm heading bye in. Bye bye everyone. <laughs> Literally, living with her is so fun. tablescape pretty simple. We just have a simple water glass or wine depending on what they want to drink. We popped down the beautiful little pansies and I like the little gingham how that accents this plate and the peach napkins. I thought that was kind of fun. So it's a very spring. I think we're all feeling it, feeling a little bit of the winter blues, the depression that kind of sets in. So I hope this cheers people up. I hope we can have some good conversation and fellowship tonight. And yeah, I think it should be a beautiful, beautiful evening. Anyways, okay, until next time, much success in all you do and grow, and we will be seeing you shortly back here at Crowley House very soon. Say goodbye, Riley. Bye. Okay. <laughs>